Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back for my fourth and final declutter video. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. I don't know because I'm filming them all now. Um, but this video is some lip products. Past videos have been eye products, base products, face color products. So those are the three videos that I've done previously. I'll have them linked in the description box. Um, but today we're talking about lip products. Now, this is not my entire lip product collection. I am a lip junkie. I have a lot of lip products. I wear different lip products every single day. Um, so I only pulled out things that I wanted to go through. So, so, so some old lipsticks, um, just unorganized lipsticks, everything that I knew I wanted to keep and that was organized, I kept them in the drawers. There was no point pulling them out and going through them and swatching them because it would have taken hours. And the answer would have been, I love this whole range. I want to keep it. So I just kept them in the drawer. So this is more lip products and lip liners that I wanted to declutter and go through or just get rid of. So keep on watching. And then if you want to see how I store these products right at the very end, um, I will do that. So, so let's get on to it. All right, guys, we are back to talk about lip products. And this is a bit of a mixed bag. If you're thinking, Kat, you've got so many lip products. Um, this is probably half of it. Uh, I've got heaps more lip products, but a lot of them are organized well and they're lip products that I know I really want. So there's no point talking about them here because I want them. I know I want them. So I've got some organized lipsticks that I'm going to go through. I do have more of these sort of uh, containers with other lipsticks that I know I want to keep. So I'm not going to go through those. I don't have the time. I need to get this done ASAP because I need to organize my room for getting an air conditioner installed. Um, and what I did with this box was I grabbed a bunch of stuff out of drawers that I had organized, like those sort of uh, acrylic shelves. Um, I have a bunch of lipsticks organized and I pulled out some that I'm not sure if I want to keep. I also pulled out some liquid eyeshadows. Um, I pulled out the Fenty ones, the Colourpop ones that are literally gathering dust. Um, more Colourpop ones over here. And I pulled out, um, I've got lip liners back here that you can't see at the moment. Let's put them over here. Lip liners. Woo. So this is essentially, um, stuff that I'm not sure if I want to keep. Um, or stuff that hasn't been properly organized. So yeah, if you know that I like lip stains and I like Shuramura lipsticks and MAC lipsticks, you go, where the heck are they? I know I'm keeping them so they're in a drawer. So that's why they're not here right now. All right, so let's start with this box here, which is a bit of a mixed bag. It's got some things that I want to keep, some things that I want to throw out. So let's start with NYX lip lingeries. I don't like these. I think they're too dry. Getting rid of them. I'm also getting rid of all the color pop, and I'm kind of bummed that I put them all in here because I had them all organized. Uh -huh. So I've got these uh, Super no Nova eyeshadows from ColourPop. I actually really love the colors of these but they crease and crack and aren't nice on me, so I'm getting rid of them. All right, what else can I pull out? These from uh, Revlon, I actually really like these, but I like the nude ones. Uh, these are these are actually really good products and they are very, they're cool products. They're like tinted balms and I love the nude ones. I don't wear these colored ones as much because I don't like sheer colored products, but I have actually worn this one a lot as you can see it's down to there um, but I much prefer the nude ones so these are great if you want a tinted balm these are great I'm gonna get rid of them because I haven't worn them in probably at least a year um, and I prefer the more nude one which I think is in my handbag somewhere so getting rid of those all right in here I've got this pack from hourglass I recently bought this on sale uh, so clearly I'm keeping this uh, it was just in there because it was around here I've got a few Maybelline Superstay matte inks I don't know how I feel about these um, they're very very pigmented I just feel like they're a little bit heavy on the lips and what I mean by that I feel like they I don't know they sort of feel like they suffocate my lips a little bit um, so I don't know I think I'm I quite like the look of this one uh, I might keep these two and get rid of this light one which doesn't really suit me so keeping two getting rid of one these lip products from Elizabeth Arden these are the beautiful color bold liquid lipsticks I actually really dig these um, I think they're really cool products I should actually look at panning them they're really hard to pan because they're bright colors but I've panned the mauve one before and I really enjoyed the process 
Um, this clicker is not the best. This one's a little bit broken, but these are really cool products and I don't know. I'm going to give these another go because I really dig them. Uh, I just don't know how often I wear those colors, but I'm going to try. All right. These melted lipsticks from Too Faced. I don't love them. I'm getting rid of them. I love the melted matte and they are still in the drawer. I'm not getting rid of those, but I don't really love these. So I'm getting rid of these. I've got some NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. These are new-ish for me, so I'm definitely keeping them. Maybelline Color Drama Lip Pencils. I might actually... Uh, pan this nude one in this year. I don't know about this red one. Uh, I like them both. I'm keeping them both. I might try to pan them because they're cool, but they're getting old. Keeping my Linda Holberg Infinity Glass lip gloss. Getting rid of Estee Lauder Estee Edit lip gloss. I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell you that I don't mind these Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, but because I don't feature Kat Von D. I find these really hard to find an excuse to wear them. So I'm actually going to get rid of them. Uh, I feel bad because I spend a lot of money on these and I do quite like them. Uh, we've got uh, Project Chimps, Lolita 2 and Lolita. And then some minis. We've got uh, Ludwig and K-Dub, but I'm just not going to wear them. So goodbye. Got a couple of Shuramira lipsticks, keeping them. I like these. Actually, actually, to be honest, uh, I really like these red colors. So these are the Supreme Matte, I believe. Rouge Unlimited Supreme Matte. The reds are phenomenal. So definitely keeping the red. This one, which is a peachy color, looks very powdery on the lips. So I'm actually going to get rid of that, which I feel bad about. Uh, Lime Crime. I think I've got another Lime Crime thing in here. Yeah, here we go. These are really old. These are from like when they first came out. So I'm getting rid of them. I really like the t uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. If you want like a plumping lip gloss, these are nice. Keeping those. All right, just getting rid of some old stuff uh, and some samples that I don't use. So those are gone. This is also old. I feel like I'm going to keep most other things. I'm definitely keeping these. I've got a bunch of them. I've got, I think, three in the gold and I've got a bunch in the pink. Um, so I'm definitely keeping these. It's just, it just found its way into this box. I love these Marc Jacobs, this liquid lipstick. I like this Ofra. Um, I haven't actually worn this too often. So, oh, I'm getting rid of this Tarte lip glaze because uh, it's really, really old. Uh, but they're nice products, just really old. These are Chewed House Vivid Tints. Uh, I got these in Japan. I'm going to keep the orange one because it's really interesting. Um, what's this one like? They're both really cool. Okay, I'm keeping... That one looks like it's like blood. I'm keeping that. I think I'm actually keeping most things in here. Um, I Like most of them are things that I've picked out because I actually like. MAC, this lip gloss, I'm getting rid of. I'm just never going to use that. Uh, everything else I really quite like in here. So, oh, I've got another one of these. I'm getting rid of this Essence lipstick because I just don't wear it. Everything else I think I quite like. I love this Sadie lipstick. Uh, it's just, it's not the best formula, but what it's like a really rad color. So I think everything else in here I am keeping. Uh, this was sort of like just my everyday pile of stuff. Um, so I'm going to put in the other stuff that I'm keeping in here. All right. So right now this is the keep. This is the throwaway pile. So let's start going through some other things. So these are lippy sticks and I've got a bunch of them and I don't need them all. So I'm going to only keep a few of them. I've also got a lip liner here, which I've got, I'll put in the lip liner drawer. So let's start swatching. All right. Let's start with nudes. I actually really like lippy sticks. Um, I think they're really cool. This is in daydream, which is, oh, beautiful color the formula of these are really good okay focus on my arm please thank you very much i am keeping this one cami i think it is i really like this as well it's probably one of my most used ones and i think i've got two of them but i'm keeping it that's really rad we've got brink oh this is definitely one of my most used ones because there's barely any in there um i like it i'm gonna maybe start trying to use some of these up in the my project pan. We've got Hotline, which is a matte X. I like it. I really like these. We've got Gold Digger. So this is Gold Digger. Um, oh, they're so good. Okay. Keeping it. Okay. So those are the nudes. I'm keeping all of them. I really like them. Uh, we've got some darker colors. Uh, we've got two grunge 
Chateau, Taurus, and Lady. So let's go grunge. I've worn this. I've got the lip liner to match, I'm pretty sure. Grunge. I don't think I need both of them. I can get rid of one, which has been used most. All right, this one here has actually broken, so I'm going to get rid of this. Oh, I just realized I put them all in the get rid of pile when I'm actually keeping them. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one grunge because it's actually... Oh, oh it's actually broken, so I'm just going to put it in there. Uh, then we have... So we're keeping this one grunge. We've got Taurus, which I really like, and... It's my star sign, so I'm partial to it, keeping it. Chateau is really rad. Um, that's so so cool. These colors are rad. And then we have Lady. I, I'm surprised at how much, like, these are some of my favorite lip products from ColourPop, and I keep forgetting how much I like them. Focus on my arm, please. Uh, then we have the bright colors. So let's look at the bright colors. We have, this is Goldie. So let's have a look at Goldie. Yep, keeping Goldie. These are rad. We've got Bossy. Keeping Bossy. Click is probably one of my favorite reds, which is a beautiful orange tone red. It's like Lady Danger from MAC. And then we have Fighter. Yep, keeping it. And lastly, we have Barely There, which is a bright pink. I don't know how I feel about this. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of interesting. All right, I'm keeping that too. What I don't want, however, are the liquid lipsticks. I don't like the liquid lipsticks. I do like the glossy lips. So this is an ultra glossy lip. This is in the shade Fairy Floss. I'm keeping the glossy lips and I'm getting rid of everything else because I just don't use them. They're getting old. They're settling. So these are both ultra matte, getting rid of it. Ultra metallic, getting rid of it. Ultra matte, getting rid of it. I think that's ultra matte. All right, I'm getting rid of these ultra mattes and this is, I think, an ultra glossy, but it's separated. So I'm getting rid of that too. These I am keeping. These are either ultra satins or they're ultra glossies. Um, and I quite like them, so I'm keeping those. All right, this is an interesting one. I really don't like the formula of these um, Mademoiselle lipsticks from Fenty. Um, I did a whole review on them, and I love the colors, but I really don't like the formula. They wear off patchy. They look sort of like powdery on the lips, but they have some really cool colors, so I'm a bit like torn. Now the ones I am going to get rid of are most of them, unfortunately. See, like I've got this color, which is really rad, but it just doesn't wear well. And I've got an, a better formula in Shura Mura of a similar color. So even though I really like the shades of these, I think the shades are like really great. I just don't like how they wear. I might keep a nude. So this one is single. I'll see how I go. I really hate this orange. I really hate this orange. It's very, very sort of powdery and it makes my teeth look yellow, so that's going. One that does look all right, I think is this matte because it's a little bit drier. So this is Madame. I'm keeping that. So that's been kept. I love, my favorite one is this pink one, which is in the shade Candy Venom. That one, for some reason, is worth the hassle because it just looks gorgeous. So I'm keeping that one too. So I'm keeping those three. Um, let's go through the other ones, shall we? Okay, we've got Shorty, which is a beautiful color, but I would prefer to use the Lippy Stick formula. The Lippy Stick formula is better, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is Spanked, which I was hoping to be like one of my favorite nudes, but once again, I've got ColourPop ones that are very similar and I like them more. So if I like them more, why not just use the ColourPop ones? I really like this green shade, but it wears off really badly. So I'm getting rid of that. I was hoping that this would be like my favorite color ever. Uh, I might keep it just because I like the shade. This is Freckle Fiesta and I don't have anything quite like it. So I will keep it, but I'm going to have to force myself to use it up because I really don't like it. And then we have Griselda, I think this one is. Um, and this one, once again, I prefer the ColourPop formula. So I may as well just use ColourPop. 
Last one is Clapback, um, which is a cool color, but it doesn't wear well. So what's the point of wearing it? All right, we've got some drugstore lipsticks here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't like these matte lipsticks from Rimmel. They're gone. Um, I'm getting rid of, I've got a really old Urban Decay lipstick and two old NYX ones. I'm getting rid of them. Um, what is this? A Bobbi Brown one in, I'm keeping the Bobbi Brown one. It's a nice orange shade. Um, all right, we've got a bunch of Maybelline ones here. I particularly like, um, oh, I don't mind this shade. So this is Maybelline and it's in the shade Midnight Merlot. I think I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to keep Divine Wine, which I really like. It's a really beautiful deep red, so I'm keeping that. Gone Grage. Do I like Gone Grage? Interesting. I'm going to keep it. These two, just a red and a nude, I'm getting rid of. Um, then we also have these ones down here. Touch of Spice is a bit of a classic, um, but I probably won't reach for it. I've got so many that are similar, and these are so old. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, Craving Coral, uh, this is a nice red, but I've got better ones from, you know, that are newer and aren't off. What else do we have? Got a nude, a pinky nude, don't need them. Light pinks, shiny ones, don't need them. I am going to keep these, um, what do you call them? They're the Balmain lipsticks. I'm going to keep those. All right, so we've got a bunch of Rimmel lipsticks. I really like these limited edition Kate Moss ones. But once again, these are getting quite old and I just don't use them. So there's no point. I might try to pan one of them if possible. That's a really nice one. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to put it in there. Fuck, they're so nice. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to keep those two as well. I'm just going to force myself to use them because otherwise they end up going just to waste. Uh, this is a nice... Oh, God, that's actually nicer than these, I think. Damn it! What's this one like? I don't like that one as much. Okay, so I got rid of a few. All of these nude ones, I'm not going to use. I'm getting rid of them. Goodbye. Uh, Essence, getting rid of. Sports Girl, getting rid of. Uh, I really like these Rimmel The Only One lipsticks, but I only reach for the bright red colors and the pink. So I'm going to get rid of the nudes. Uh, and let's swatch these guys. All right, I'm getting rid of those two. I just want the pink one. We've got Rimmel. This is an orangey color. It's nice, but I don't need it. I love these. All right, these by uh, Bourgeois, I love, but these are all so old. They're probably pushing four years old. So they're going they're too old. Ooh, Clarins Lip Oil, I really love, and YSL, I'm keeping. This is a pretty nostalgic lipstick for me, uh, but I don't reach for it and I don't like corals anymore. So I'm gone. We also have whatever this is, a red. I don't need it. It's gone. Benefit, red tint. I don't need it. It's gone. Kiko, this was actually sent by a lovely um, friend and moderator. This is a cool color. So I'm gonna keep that. It's a, a bit different. All right, I've just swatched some Wet n Wild lipsticks that I'm going to keep and try out and see how I like the formula. So uh, they're in there as well. All right, another one of these. Get rid of them. Chi Chi lipsticks I really like. These are lipsticks that I've had for too long now, so I am going to get rid of them because they are way too old. I know that they are too old. I know that I don't reach for them anymore, um, and I don't need them in my collection, even though I do like them. Um, we've got some really old, uh, these are Lime Crime lipsticks. These are super, super old. I love that shade though. And that's actually a repurchase one. So I'm keeping the repurchase one. Um, we are getting rid of a light nude that I'm not going to ever use. Uh, what do we have here? Glamour 101 Retro Futurist. This one is looking really gunky. So I'm getting, that's such a cool shade though. These are, these are still good shades, but they're just too old. Delilah Airborne Unicorn. I think I'm going to keep Airborne Unicorn. That one I will never use. Let's get rid of that. Airborne Unicorn used to be my favorite purple ever, and I'm keeping it. You're staying, hun. Centrifuge. It's cool, but I don't need it. 
Croquette is like one of the first like light nudes out there. I'm getting rid of it though. My Beautiful Rocket is a cool orange. Oh, I'm actually going to keep this shade because I so badly wanted this back in the day when orange lipsticks were really hard to find. Look how much mess I'm making. I'm an absolute pigsty, but we're nearly there. Uh, this is Cosmo Pop, which I'm not keeping. We've got Great Pink Planet, not keeping. Poison Berry, not keeping, can confirm. And Geradium, which I'm not keeping either. So, so we've got a bunch going on. I'm keeping a couple. I'm keeping that purple, that orange, and that pink because they sort of sum up, I don't know, my love for these lipsticks and I would still wear those shades. All right, so I've washed my arm and now we're going in with lip liners. All right, so to start with, I've got two clear lip liners, one by Rimmel and one by Pixie. So I'm going to get rid of the one by Rimmel and keep the one by Pixie. Um, then we've got some, let's pull out colors, shall we? For some reason, I've got this many purple ones. This one's by OCC, which is gone. It's a cool color. I think I might actually keep that because I do have some bright uh, purple lipsticks. Um, no, that's going back in the cup. Uh, we've got one by Revolution, which is a really nice sort of uh, purpley mauve color, which I will keep. That's relatively new as well. We've got one by OCC. This is old. It's a cool color, but I'll see if I can match it with something better. We've got, um, this is, what do you call it? Makeup Forever. I don't like that one. Getting rid of that one. NYX. This is more of a ready purple. I don't really like that. It's very, very mushy. Getting rid of that one. This is by Maybelline. It's also like a mauve color. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that one. Kylie. Okay, that one is better than the Maybelline. So I'm keeping this one, getting rid of Maybelline. And because I do want a dark one, I'll keep this one by OCC. Now we've got some nudes. We've got one by Models Own. This one is mushy and weird, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Colourpop. This is a nice nude. Keeping it. Kylie. A nice nude. This one has fallen out of the thing, but it goes back in. It's quite well behaved, so keeping that. This one is Dervish by MAC. This is very firm. I don't know how I feel about that. I find it's I don't like it. I'm not keeping that. I'm getting rid of it. Sorry, Mac. I might, can I back to Mac that? No, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, Prestige Waterproof. This is, I don't really like this one either. And then we've got Essence. This one's a nice sort of cool toned one. And that's really cool. So I'm keeping that one. I've got two pinks. Oops, stay on please. Oh, that's a really cool one. That is by NYX actually. So let's keep you. We've got a Colourpop pink one. So I'm keeping both of those because they are both like different coloured pinks. Then we've got some reds. These are both by NYX. I don't know how I feel about them. They're a bit like, yeah, I they they just break really easily. So they're going. Kylie, this is more of an orangey nude. That's actually a really nice one. I just need to sharpen it. So keeping that. And what do we have here? L'Oreal Colour Riche. This one actually looks quite nice. Ooh, much better than the next ones, so keeping that. OCC, this is a red one. I don't think I need that in my life. That can go. And then we have an Astralis one. Oh, that's even worse. I might keep the OCC one instead. All right, so getting rid of and keeping. All right, so it was very clear that these weren't all my lip products. I do have a lot that are currently in my rotation that I didn't even bother putting in my declutter. These were just some that needed to be organized or ones that I pulled out that needed to be thrown out. So this is throwing out, this is keeping. There is a big difference in the volume of these boxes, um, but I will go through my other stash as well and just sort of get rid of some um, and then show you my organized drawers. All right, if you want to know where I keep my lip products, I keep a lot of bullet lipsticks in here. So it's the third drawer. So this is pretty much the drawer that I decluttered. Um, I kept all my MAC ones. I kept all my Bite ones. I kept a bunch of stuff and I sort of decluttered some at the back. So I have made a bunch of room. So those are mainly my bullet lipsticks. But what I haven't showed you, shown you there yet is this cube. And this is where I also keep lip products. So you can see a lot of my liquid lipsticks and stains and stuff like that are in here. 
another drawer of heaps of them so these are all the ones that i didn't declutter because i like them all they're all organized so why would i declutter them here's a drawer of some lip glosses um these are some pixie eye things and these are jeffree star liquid lipsticks that we got in the mystery boxes that i haven't even used yet this is where i put the ColourPop products so they're out of the cups and they're into a drawer along with some jd glow lip glosses and a few other things this is also where i have stashed a bunch of eyeshadows including the ColourPop ones that i decided to keep and some pigments then i've got some cool stuff in here like my still and magnificent metals some holiday stuff that i've picked up some cool pigments and glitters um, some nice quads and whatnot. So uh, this is sort of like a fun draw that a lot of it, some things I haven't delved into and some things I just want to keep them in packaging for now. So that's that draw. And that's essentially where I keep most of my lip products. So there we go. So hopefully that was interesting and that's the end of my declutter. Four videos. I was expecting only one or well, maybe two or three, but it made it to four. So um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.